Hello, and welcome to the video demonstration of Zane's Access Delegation on the Infineon Development Board. In this demonstration, we will present how users can delegate access rights to the vehicle using Zane's Access Delegation solution, Zane Embedded. We are using two smartphones representing two users, Min and Life. Min is the vehicle owner and has full access rights, and Life is his friend. The Lego car represents Min's vehicle, and we can follow the user commands via the light changes on the Infineon development board. As you can see on his phone, Min can unlock his car. Since he is the vehicle owner and has access rights, this command is granted. The light simulating the lock unlock status is turned on, meaning he can now access the car. When pressing the lock button, the LED will turn off. Life would like to borrow Min's car, but since he's not the vehicle owner, he does not have any access rights. For Min to give access to Life, he needs to create a new policy rule. To create the new policy, we select the delegation editor. We can then select the user and the action that we would like to delegate, and then the start time and the end time of said access delegation. When the set button is pressed, a new policy is sent to the blockchain network and a new policy transaction is being validated by the blockchain network using POKW, proof of kernel work. The new policy is now validated. Life will log out and log in again in order to activate the policy on his phone. Now Life can see he's able to unlock Min's car. And so he does. This real-time presentation is proof of concept demonstrating the implementation of the secure embedded delegation access control, Zane Embedded, on the Oryx microcontroller from Infineon. Thanks for watching.